Hey guys, how are you? I am doing something very exciting in this video. Now, here's the thing. In the last video where I was working on the balcony, I wrote in the description that this would be the last video on the balcony that I would do before my extreme balcony makeover video. You guys, because you watch the Homemade Happy series, have the behind the scenes and know a little bit more about what's going on. I wanted to leave a little bit more suspense for you guys and kind of stop what I was showing at the point of the last balcony railing video. However, I have come to the point of having too many projects for it and this specific project that I'm going to be showing you today and working building with you guys today is just too big of a project to include in the full room makeover video. I just feel like it makes sense for it to live on its own. I do just want to add a little note here. It would mean so much to me if when you see the extreme balcony makeover going live that you please 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 watch it from the beginning to the end like it and comment the extreme room makeover series that i've done has been basically the series that allows me to do youtube as a living because those are my highest performing videos and so i know that you guys get a lot of behind the scenes but if you will still show the extreme room makeover videos support and love that would mean so much to me and that really helps me and will help the algorithm to to still send that video out because you guys are the ones that are going to be shown the video by YouTube first. So if you love it and support it, it will end up going out to wider audiences and honestly just means a lot to me. So thank you so much in advance. But either way, on to what we're doing today. I had planned for months and months, practically a year, I have been planning to put a built-in seating situation on that full side of the balcony and make it kind of an L shape. And I thought that would be really nice. I even got the cushions for it from Walmart. but. I changed my mind because there's like a hornet situation right up in that corner. So I don't really want to be sitting there. We don't find ourselves gravitating to that corner. So when I was thinking about what else we want to do out here to make this space a space that we love, one of our priorities is to have a barbecue. And that's something that we've truly wanted for quite a long time. Now the issue is we can't have a propane wood chip or a coal barbecue because we're in an apartment and that violates the rules that we have. So we are limited to an electric electric barbecue and I found one that I really like but it's just a tabletop barbecue so follow me okay because of that, I think it's going to make sense to build a kind of like outdoor kitcheny area that the tabletop barbecue can sit on top of. That is what we're going to do today. Basically build an outdoor kitchen area, but you could also use this for something that you wanted to do indoors. You could use this as a nightstand, side table, or whatever you wanna do, really, honestly. Balcony makeover video. So let's get started. Hello. Hello, he's waiting for me to start. Look at it, so comfortable. <laughs> oh my God, I know. Okay, so yesterday my husband and I went to Home Depot and we picked out all the wood. I actually spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out how I was going to design this structure because I've really only framed out a couple pieces of furniture ever in my life, meaning like my headboard, actually maybe just that one thing. So I had no idea what I was doing. I think we figured out something that should work. This is literally perfectly designed to fit the size of my balcony. We are using one by fours for basically every piece in this diagram with the exception of the four pillars and those are one by sixes all of the pocket holes are actually going on all of the one by four pieces and not on any of the one by six pieces that's just the way that it needs to be constructed because the pocket hole needs to go on this side out of the top of the, the piece of wood and into the side anyway on with the building
positions, right? Form, you stop. Four verticals. Like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The two shelves. Yeah. Right? Oh my god! Hello! <laughs> so just a little update for you. These are the four edge pieces, but then the next things we're going to do are add in two little support pieces on this side and on this side as a support for the shelves we're going to put in. And we're also going to put in two additional supports on the top piece so that the tabletop has more support as well. Next step in this whole process is gonna be a fun one. So actually yesterday we went to Home Depot to get plywood to cover in all the sides of the structure. And we spent like an hour picking out the plywood only to find out that the plywood cutting machine is broken, meaning that they couldn't cut it. And there's no way for us to bring those gigantic plywood sheets back home with us. So there was another option and that option was to buy like the handy pandle size, which is like much smaller, but way more expensive, like probably cost us an additional 70 ish bucks just in product there. Honestly, maybe more, <laughs> but that's okay. Cause we are on a time crunch. We need to get this done. So we are going to cut down all the panels that we got to size. We are ready to make our first cut. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. My battery died. Got the new battery. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? That we only get one life. I wanna make it count. The piece of wood is leaving a huge gap in one section, which I think should still be fine if I can put caulking in there, like silicone in there. Anyway, whatever. <laughs>
Are you ready to see it all constructed? Because honestly, it's coming together. Seriously, it is so coming together. Bada boom, bada boom. This, I believe, is actually how you frame at a fireplace. Does this not look like a fireplace if you were doing like a faux fireplace with an insert? Dang, this looks good. I will just mention on the top piece, it is the only piece of plywood that's slightly thicker. I think it's like half an inch thick versus everything else is a quarter of an inch thick. And the top part that has the tabletop is the only part that also is reinforced in the center. And you can actually see the difference of what that does when it's reinforced in the center. It definitely is much more stable and heavy duty. And since I'm gonna put something heavy on top of it, I thought that that would be a good idea and it totally was. The next step is going to be to caulk all the little gaps and stuff. I've been putting it off for like the last 45 minutes, but. I'm gonna do it now. I have no idea how this works. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, <laughs> it started. morning so the silicone caulking has like fully dried and now the next step that I'm going to do on this whole journey is I'm going to put some spackling on the outside of this I want it to look kind of like this organic cementy look so that's what I'm going for you know now this stuff is graded for interior and exterior and not all spackling I think is like rated for exterior to my knowledge, but yeah. I'm only gonna put this on the tops, sides, and front. This is what it looks like, bright pink. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations of Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken The spackling is officially dry Am I 100% sure that I'm using all the right products <laughs> for this project? In terms of the caulking, in terms of the exterior spackling? No, I'm not 100% sure Now the one saving factor I think to me is the fact that the paint is going to be this whitish color the texture and spackling is white, the caulking is white. If there is ever any chipping or peeling or whatever of the spackling or of the caulking, I figure I can just repair that pretty easily. I also didn't apply any spackling to the sides of the project. That was just like a time and product save because it's gonna fit so perfectly in there. You're not going to see any texture really that's on there anyway. I do have a really good exterior paint. I got it from Home Depot. It is bare. This is the paint color that I have. Hopefully it's good. Now, I think I will use a cloth thing to maybe add a little bit more texture. I think that would be smart. Just a little more texture thinking. It is now the next day because I got sidetracked working on something else for the balcony, which is gonna go in the balcony makeover video. Hint, hint, make sure that you watch that. Just a little reminder once again. The next step I'm going to do in here is actually add some shelves. And I thought wood cedar shelves would be a great option. Now I didn't realize that cedar is really expensive, but I like the color of it more than like pressure treated wood. And since it's gonna be fully exposed and live in this cabinet, I thought it just makes sense for it to be real nice wood. So if you remember, I put some extra pieces of support here and here and on the same on the other side. And that was so that I'd be able to basically put a piece of wood across so that the shelves can sit on top of it. 
And so that's what we're going to do here. And I did think ahead and actually measure the distance to the center point of the support pieces from the top and from the bottom. So hopefully this should be pretty easy. And once that's done, this structure is done. Very excited. And I can finally move on to all the final touches and all the things I had planned for the balcony, which I think it's gonna be great when it's done. And also so we can barbecue. My husband's been asking me like every single day, can we barbecue, can we barbecue? And I'm like, not yet. So yeah, let's get going with the shelves. Okay, so the shelves are in and I have just added in a couple little things so you can get an idea. I'm not gonna put the barbecue on top because I wanna leave that as like a full kind of reveal type thing for the balcony makeover because I think it's such a nice big statement piece and I think it's just gonna go perfectly. But I will show you what it looks like semi-staged. I'm in love with it. If you're ready, I will show you. Here it is. Holy cannoli. It is perfection. Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed. This looks so good. This is beyond my dreams of kind of like what I thought I could make for this space. It turned out so good. I love the shelves. I wasn't 100% sure right when I put them in, whether it was the right color. I thought maybe they should be darker, but then I put a couple items in and it's just perfect. The perfect little accent. And you guys, this is just, it's everything. Look at it. Hey yo, I made this. How? I don't know. I mean, I just thought it up, struggled with some dimensions and struggled with measuring, struggled with the framing, struggled with all the products along the way. And here we are, lo and behold. So I think this is an excellent, excellent example of you can think up something that is so you, that fits your place perfectly, and you can create something that is better than what I could buy in store. So, ah, I'm so excited. I'm very excited for my balcony makeover and to see everything come together because there's like some other stuff that I plan to do. But either way, thank you so much for joining along on this journey. It was super fun. I'm really glad that I made this and I will see you next week. I love you guys so much. Bye. Obsessed.